noisy behind me with that dust collection system running, but today is the day we're gonna. Buckle up for safety as I give you a day in the life of facilities maintenance. Looking for metal to make a filter rack out of, I discovered that finding the right gauge of metal in very small quantities is overpriced. I have some uh, flashing material, but that's too thin. It might be like 22 gauge or something. I need something more along the lines of 18. The other issue then that I found was that I don't have a metal break long enough to uh, put the bends in um, in anything other than short little pieces. And I'd kind of like to make this uh, one continuous piece uh, for my, just for s strength reasons. Then I came across this and thought, that'd be perfect. Bottom track that's designed for a metal stud wall is, uh, is wide enough to fit my two inch filter. Yeah, I can cut, cut. Fold it to a 90, rivet the corners to hold it in position, and then I will have a nice uh, strong filter rack that I can then install in the, uh, in the unit itself. So that should work well. So, oh, I haven't riveted the corners or anything yet, but there's my rack. Aha! So I was wondering if they'd send me the right ones. I ordered these originally a couple of weeks ago, the box down there, and they sent me the wrong filters. They sent me 25 by 20 by 4 inches. That's the wrong size, and that's not what I ordered. So I requested a refund, which uh, I got an email today saying they approved, but they don't want them back, which I guess that's because the size of the box and cost of shipping and all the rest of that. So now I have a, I have a box of 20 by 25 by four inch filters that I either figure out a use for or donate them to somebody. So here's the filter rack that I made. So let's open this thing up, get a rough fit, and then if I have to tweak anything, we'll go from there. Well, that's almost a perfect fit. Well, you have served your purpose. Well, hopefully that works. I say hopefully because I'm 92% sure. Because not knowing what size of filter um, is designed to go in here, because there was never a filter rack in this to begin with, I just took some rough measurements and went, okay, I can go with a 20 by 25. I probably should have gone with an 18 by 25. 20 is a little bit wide, so you gotta kind of finagle it in here. Put it in this way, slip it up into the top, and then push it in. But, the filter won't fall out because it's got the, a track along the back and a track along the top. I've had to modify the track on the bottom a little to allow the, uh, the filter to uh, slip in sideways on the bottom. But the back and top track are still there, so. Yeah, let's put a filter in here and see how it fits. To start by putting the filter in at an angle like this. 
and then just slide the bottom in like that push that back into the track that won't come out so that's good certainly 10 times better than it was before maybe 11 times but I don't like that um, air can sneak past this maybe with an 18 it probably wouldn't have been right to the floor it probably would have sat on top of this drain pan but uh, yeah I can figure out something to uh, maybe a piece of flashing here to seal this off here so it's not drawing too much air in the side well I think it's safe to say that we've got it got a piece of flashing down the side here that uh, blocks that gap that was there yeah it'll be necessary to remove two little screws to take that piece of flashing out in order to, in order to do a filter change and while that's not the most convenient what's two more screws when I'm already removing 11 right with that back together the only thing left that I might do and I'm still undecided it will depend on what kind of temperature rise I see when I check that later inside is I might take that hood I have that closed off right now and if it turns out that I do need a fresh air intake to assist with uh, with all the business that's going on here I will probably remove it from this spot right here and seal that off because of the fact that I've got so much wood dust coming out from here and being drawn right up into it the air being drawn in there is going in exactly the same place as the return air coming down here they, they meet up in the uh, in the chamber down there and so moving that intake duct from there up to there will uh, go a long ways towards preventing this thing from sucking in all this sawdust so at this point that's the only thing that I have left to do on here and I'm not even sure if I plan on doing it it will depend on um, on what I find with the temperature rise like I said so that brings us to the end of this project. Thanks for watching. See you later.